the internet has been a main topic in everyone's life nowadays. Why though? Simply based on addiction, entertainment, and wanting to find out more. Gossip is a key factor as well, because people these days love knowing more stuff about others while hidden behind the screen and judging everyone. This brings us to TikTok, a platform like no other. It's a new concept introduced to social media, where with just a scroll you see the world in its various aspects. This isn't always a good thing. Too much exposure leads to too much danger. Many cases have been proof of such statement, especially with all the fame provided, and even the challenges TikTokers do. Digging in deeper will help us discover the dark side of TikTok. Wake up, open your phone, scroll through TikTok, repeat. Wake up, open your phone, scroll through TikTok, repeat. Wait a second. This isn't my feed. No, th this, this can't be. What on earth is that? Jacob Blanco. A 28 year old with an ordinary TikTok profile just casually posting child pornography on TikTok. And no video was banned whatsoever. It was accessible and clear for everyone to see. Blanco was found and admitted guilty to five charges related to the production of child pornography, along with one charge of receiving such material. This plea was made before US District Court Judge Dale A. Jost, with sentencing scheduled for October 9, 2020. Blanco's involvement in these unlawful activities became known around March 2017 when the parents of a six-year-old child discovered that their minor had engaged in communication and the creation of sexually explicit content at the behest of another user on the social media platform Musical.ly. Subsequent investigation by law enforcement revealed this user to be Jacob Blanco. Further examination of Blanco's digital records uncovered his systematic manipulation and coercion of numerous minors into producing sexually explicit material. He employed various deceitful tactics such as posing as a modeling agent or assuming a false identity as a minor, across platforms including Snapchat, Kick, and Musical.ly. Blanco's admission during interrogation that he had communicated with approximately 50 minors was substantiated by the communications and content found on his digital devices. This just shows how it's vital to acknowledge the hidden threats that lurk beneath the surface. Amidst the sea of videos, there are individuals who exploit the platform's openness to target unsuspecting users, particularly the vulnerable. Do you consider yourself vulnerable? You shouldn't, or else this will happen. Some consider themselves famous on social media platforms and no one can blame them for that. Simply because fame comes from us, the viewers and the followers. The more you have a following, the more you are famous and most importantly, the more you have a target on your back. Targets could vary from the people that want your spotlight to the people that want to end you. This was the case of Charlie D'Amelio. Charlie was a 16 year old girl that was heavily famous on TikTok. Hell, she was even the top. Her following was like no other, and she was the first one to reach 100 million followers there. This put a target on her back and a lot of responsibilities that need to be fulfilled. Charlie did not see anything but success coming. Even though she was hated by a lot, nothing compares to her story with Lovely Peaches. Charlie was on her Instagram live once, when Lovely Peaches decided to enter and comment on the live some sexual disgusting stuff. But keep in mind that Charlie was 16 years old, a minor really able to like be myself and just live through movement I guess instead of words because sometimes it helps me more what is my sign um <laughs> okay I'm going to end this live. I am will probably go live again tomorrow. I hope you all have a wonderful night. Sleep well. Stay hydrated. Um, 
And I love you all. Take care of yourself. Things escalated when Lovely Beaches hired a 30-year-old man to go sexually assault and kill Charlie. The spirit was very worrying for everyone, so many worried about the whereabouts and even if the guy has found Charlie or not. Until one day, Charlie posted a TikTok, just like any of her other ones, which once rewatched, you would notice someone peeking from behind her, as if he was hiding and waiting for the right moment. This all goes back to the 30-year-old guy Lovely Beach just hired. Was it him though? After Charlie was told and then realized what the issue with her TikTok is, she sensed the seriousness of this issue. She felt unsafe, traumatized, and targeted. This shows how much exposure can lead to risks, ones that will haunt you for eternity. TikTok definitely was not a safe environment for Charlie anymore and they waited for things to settle down to ban lovely beaches. A minor was harassed and no countermeasures were taken. So how about the 15 kids that died because of a challenge? You've been on your TikTok for you page for a good hour now and your peers have told you about this trend and challenged you to do it. You witnessed someone trying it and being fine after it as if nothing happened. So you told yourself, why not? You get a rope, put it around your neck. You're excited but worried at the same time and now you're shaking. You're not sure how safe it is anymore. Doubts start flying in your head. Holding your breath at first was easy, but it reached a point where it's not retainable anymore. Seeing clearly is not an option, no focus whatsoever. Do you think you will ever wake up? You will never know. A dangerous trend has been circulating among teenagers and young adults. This challenge encourages participants to hold their breath until they pass off from oxygen deprivation. What happens during the challenge is that participants intentionally restrict their oxygen intake. The brain's oxygen supply is significantly reduced. In the most extreme cases, oxygen deprivation for over 5 minutes can lead to death. Despite this, some individuals continue to engage in the challenge, often influenced by peer pressure or the desire to gain social media attention. Recognizing signs that someone may be attempting the blackout challenge is crucial for identifying and intervening in potentially dangerous situations. Participants may exhibit red or bloodshot eyes due to the strain of holding their breath or the physical effects of oxygen deprivation. Visible marks or bruising on the neck area may indicate that an individual has attempted to reduce blood blood flow to the brain. Participants may feel disoriented or dizzy after attempting the challenge, especially if they have experienced a loss of consciousness or near loss of consciousness. After years of silence, the blackout challenge made headlights again in April 2024 when two students in South Orange, New Jersey, passed out after attempting the game. One was taken to the hospital after experiencing difficulty breathing once they regained consciousness, while the other was given medical attention by school staff. One notable incident occurred in December 2021, when 10-year-old Nyla Anderson tragically choked to death after accidentally hanging herself in her closet. It was revealed that she had been watching blackout challenge videos on TikTok shortly before her death. Despite efforts to revive her, doctors were unable to save her life. Following Nyla's death, her mother, Tawina Anderson, filed a lawsuit against TikTok and its parent company, ByteDance. Alleging wrongful death, she argued that TikTok promotes dangerous challenges for profit and fails to protect children from harmful content. However, the lawsuit was dismissed in October 2022 with the judge citing protections under the Communications Decency Act. Despite the dismissal, Tawina Anderson continues to advocate for awareness of the dangers posed by online challenges, urging parents to monitor their children's online activities closely. Allowing such content on social media is definitely the problem itself. TikTok should definitely restrict such actions on its platform because it led itself to this downfall. Can it be trusted to do so? 
TikTok is not as innocent as everyone makes it out to be. The dark ways some individuals will go to in order to please their urges is honestly chilling. We've encountered some unsettling truths, predators, stalkers, and dangerous challenges that can harm unsuspecting users. In this digital realm, not everything is as it seems. Behind the flashy videos and catchy tunes, there are real risks. It's a reminder that online safety is crucial and that the allure of likes and followers can sometimes lead to risky situations. As you continue to explore TikTok and other social platforms, stay aware, be mindful of who you interact with and the challenges you participate in. On the internet, a little caution can go a long way, though we all know, as long as you have technology, you are never safe.